Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play. We're back in Drill Down. Last episode, we successfully drilled down a level. And we get down this level, down to the negative one level here. Uh, we can only build in this little two block radius around the drill bit hole here, I guess. And so I went on the Discord and asked, I got a quick answer, and it looks like... What we need to do is actually put the air filter down here. Uh, we probably could have thought of that ourselves. We need... Ooh, we need more scaffolding. I'm not sure why that blinked. Maybe I'm using it or it's floating through, st <laughs> it's floating through storage. All right, there we have it. Let's place this guy down. <clears throat> I think it can go just about anywhere. Let's put it off to the side here and then maybe we'll just leave room for a barrel. Uh, how do we want to do that? How about like this? Plunk that down. If that should start kind of sucking up all the dust. Wait, we're short on scaffolding. We may want to shore that up. You can see now it's starting to expand the map. Down here. As it runs cycles, but it's going to want to drain out. Let's, uh, let's go up a level and figure out what's going on with our scaffolding. I think we need to ramp that up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's a super easy production chain. This is it right here. It just takes wood. Yeah, we don't have hardly any. This guy is waiting for inputs. Let's get some more wood going. Uh, let's do it. Lumberjack. Go out down here and rotate. Um, maybe two. How about that? Let me turn on my volume for a minute here. It's kind of loud. All right. Grab these transports. Double click them this time like I'm supposed to. Boom. Turn that down. That should help us with uh, our scaffolding. We got room for another one. Should we just do it? Kind of think we might as well until we need the space. We can always pull it up later. Let's try and build up a stockpile of. Um, yeah, these buildings are fairly cheap. Let's see if we can build up a stockpile of scaffolding. You to you. Boom. <clears throat> Alright, let's head back down. And I put. Barrel, not yet. Well, now it's letting me. I'm going to take the opportunity and do it. You there. Uh, let's reverse this. I imagine we could send this stone dust back up. On the top floor here, we don't need... Pretty sure we're not going to need the, uh, the air purifier we put up here. Let's kill that off. Actually... Let's take a look at our storage here. We set this up. Okay, yeah, it's getting the... This warehouse up here in the top right corner of the map is getting our leftovers from anything we dismantle. I just wanted to see if that was still working. It looks like it is. Let's uh, delete this out. Don't need that. We're still sending ingots in. We scaled up our ingot production last episode. Is it doing anything? see this guy get out of the destruction menu and eh, we're slowly collecting ingots here from our fourth uh, ingot mold how are we doing for the next level drill we need 180 we got 143 uh, cement powder production looks good stone dust Ooh, we've got tons of stone dust. Now, I think that's what we're producing down below, right, with that air filter. That's kicking out stone dust. We may eventually send that up. And then it occurs to me, I probably should have placed this over a little bit further to the right. Because, uh, we're kind of at the edge of the, uh, edge of the map, right? Most of what we want to explore is on the left side, or on the right side, sorry. Take a look. 
So I'm guessing once this thing thinks it's done, I'm guessing it will stop once it's vacuumed up as much dust as it can. Then we may need to move it. We'll see. Now, oh, cool. We're seeing some more ores. We know we're not going to find anything new at this level. We just have copper, iron, clay, dirt, and coal. But at least we now know what we're doing. We really need tin, though. I don't know how much we're actually going to be able to do until we get tin. Yes, we could think about transporting stuff up through this item lift. That takes 10 steel ingots. Just think if we could send up this dust, I guess. Then we wouldn't have to, uh, we might not have to produce it ourselves anymore. This all looks good. We've got buffers there. We've got buffers everywhere. Plenty of water. That was easy. Not sure what to do now, to tell you the truth. We've, uh, <laughs> we're starting to expand down below, which is cool, but we don't really need any of this stuff. Guess we could scale up production, potentially, or we could organize things. Go up, take a look at the tech tree one more time. I don't think there's anything new for us. I kind of wish... Ooh, there's... What? How is there nothing? Okay. Oh, I see. We've already selected the research. Well, we can start routing stuff in. We've got to get our little paper clips. That's copper wire. I keep calling them paper clips just for fun. We can get that stuff into the warehouse let, or into the science lab. Let's do that. It's going to take a little bit of belt weaving to pull this off, but uh, we can do it. We got tons of stone for belts. Let's just get on it. We'll first work on these guys. get conveyor bridge going here and we're gonna just hook up to this belt there no more conveyor bridges I rotate this boom this guy's got to go up up to here boom and then I think we have to reset the conveyor bridge like that and I think this will do it yep and then how many do we need for the current research we need a hundred wire so let's let loose how can we do this we're not gonna be able to get it perfect I think let's take it down to and pause that one from unloading we could rotate this one. <laughs> Let's let out till we get to 250, right? Is it 100? Is that what I said? Sorry. 100 or 150. Yeah, we only need 100. But let's open this up till we get to 250. Let those guys up. Slowly see iron ingots moving along, or steel ingots moving up into the drill. We're letting wire go till it gets down to 250. That's all heading to the lab. So that is stopped. Rotate this. Let it do its thing now. In fact, we could probably... Let's see, we're storing up. Copper ingots here. We can send some of this production back down. And produce more wire. Let that fill up. What are we waiting on? More copper. Oh, did we divert copper? Yeah, we did for copper dust. Um... 
are we doing on that? 134, that's... We let that run. Or should we... Produce more wire. We got a ton of wire. I think I'm going to let this copper dust thing fill up. Yeah, let's let that run. Take a look at our charcoal production over here. Wood, 172 there, 132. That one's full. And this guy we've been working to fill up. That's all fine. We'll leave it. 294 on dirt, 199, 240. 350, those all look really good. Let's uh, divert to making a few more planks. Right. What's next at the science lab? Our compacted coal, or our coal carbon blocks, I should say. That's what they're really called. Now we need to weave this uh, just up to this belt here. We'll do it. If we can get it anywhere on this belt, that'll head straight into the science lab. Here they are. Can I just... I can't belt over that, but I can probably wiggle around here. And before we do that, why don't we take out this belt for now? Just going to clear some of this so we don't end up with a bunch of... Uh, belts that we lose track of. Okay. Try to keep it somewhat clean. Alright, carbon blocks. We don't need many. Get a conveyor bridge on this one little spot. Looks like it's going to take it for us. That's good. Conveyors up. Rotate these guys. Well, let's finish. We'll do all the rotating at the end, I guess. You need to come up this way. And we need a conveyor bridge. There. And then just conveyors up to here should do it. Now let's fix all these, rotate them the way they need to be. This guy needs that. Thing here, boom. And then rotate this one, boom. And then I think we just need to release 10 of these, is that it? Uh, carbon blocks 10. We have, we got 25, let's... Get down to 15. That's it. There they go. And then what's next? We've got one more, right? The magnets. Eight magnets. Where did we do those again? Magnets. Oh, that was up here, right? Magnets. That one's easy. Just got to come straight across. And I'm going to remove these belts once we're done, I think. So, eight magnets. I think, is that what it is? Boom. Yeah, eight magnets. What do we got in here? Ooh, we got 124. So, that's 116, something like that. That should do it. I am going to remove these. I'm going to need to leave the uh, little junctions. And I'll leave this main path over to the lab. Alright, how's our drill looking? Oh, we're drilling. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Not sure what else we can speed up over here. Although, we could be thinking about doing some steel ingot production the next level down, right? Or we've got room to do it here. Knowing that we've got multiple levels to build on, 
this guy done? Yeah, this guy's done. We need to move it over. I wonder how we can tell. Okay, I can see a slight texture difference here to see what the boundaries are. We need to move this guy over. Is it? I think it's getting it all the way to the bottom, but it's not reaching the top. Yeah, let's... Let's move the... This guy over as far as we can. Pick that up. See if we've got what we need to build another one. Do that up here and drag this all the way. All the way over. Okay, it's going to work. I guess I'm, we have so much uh, stone and we can always get more. I'm just going to belt this over here for convenience. Then we may send up this stone dust. How much do we get? We only got 23. Not much. Fine. All right, we're on the verge of getting to the next level down. Keep your fingers crossed that there is some tin down there. I suppose we could put a water tank here, but right now our steel ingots are so slow that I think the water is going to outperform it and we don't have to worry too much. All right, we're almost there. Look at that progress bar. We are almost at the edge. Who do we get? Boom. Kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> There's just no sound. There's no little buzzer or anything. Okay, here we are down at the next level. Let's see if we can plunk down our air purifier and do a little better this time. Do we have the resources? We do. Let's put it as far over as they let us. I don't know. Will they let us go this far over? Oh, I guess so. This guy is going to need a barrel. That'll do for now. No tin. We can see that over to the right of the screen, unfortunately. It's fortunate we can see it. It's unfortunate that it's showing us no tin ore on this floor. Not sure how many levels we can go down. I think it's a, I think it's a lot. <clears throat> I think it's like a many, many, like several dozen. If not more, I'm not sure. All right, well, that's level two down below. There's level one. We're starting to expand the map. There is more stuff we can do on level zero here. We talked about increasing steel production out of this collection of iron deposits. We could clean up the... Uh, could clean up this charcoal production too. If we wanted to move most of this out of here, come up this way with it. I don't think we can continue to serialize. I guess we could continue the the wood belt could keep coming up. Uh dirt, we could do something creative with the dirt. To have this guy push in here and start going up, and then this guy go up. Um, that's an option. Yeah, we're at a point where it's probably worth doing some strategizing. Or, or we could focus on just kind of building out negative one this level here. And doing things with the, maybe a different design. A lot of open space on this floor. Can we, let's see, can we send stuff up and down? Is that expensive to do the item lift? 
Four stone bricks, ten steel ingots. That's not bad at all. Hmm. Dirt. Copper up here. Coal. Just thinking how we might want to organize these floors. Like we could set this whole floor up to be steel production and just try and maximize steel ingot production and then pipe those up to the surface and feed the drill. Not worry about, say, the copper that's here or, or anything. I'm not, it'd be nice to see the research tree, right? To know what's coming, how much things are going to cost. Like if I knew we were going to need, you know, endless copper dust or something, that would be useful information. All right, it's time to tie all this guy. We've got plenty of copper dust for now. At least we got one full barrel. What are we doing on coal up here? Fine. We are slowly collecting steel ingots off of our uh, fourth ingot mold here. Oh, this barrel is empty. Did we go through all of our steel plates? Looks like we did. Um, I think, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to steer some of this back. Uh, away from drilling towards replenishing our steel plates. Or, all right. Just trying to think of what we could do here to make this organized. And the other option, the other opportunity we have is we could potentially take iron from this level and send it down and have this entire level one here optimized for steel processing. One of the problems with that, though, one of the things is um, until we get those distributors in logistics, we can't really organize things the way we'd like to. We have to keep doing these weird toggles, manual toggles. We really need this uh, before we get too serious about the design. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do next? It's like this guy is snoozing. We can move that. That's an easy thing to do. I'm just looking at the border here. Here is the map. And here is the edge of the map. We need to move that over a little bit. And then we're going to have to uh, cover this top part. It looks like there's about, I don't know, 15, 12 to 15 cells up there. Let's take this guy out. Is this guy chewing up our steel plates? It is. Every time we build these air purifiers, that's part of the problem. Let's plunk it down there. Let this thing clear out the rest of the floor. Hmm. Tempted to tap into this iron and do it more steel production and just route those ingots over this way. Guess we can. We can always throw it away later. We don't need it. We're going to need to find a way to dump stone because we're going to have extra stone coming through here. Do we have a convenient path for that? We do. Oh. Not quite here though. It's got to we got to we got to jump in up here. Dump stone. Stone will follow all this. Let's take a stab. We got nothing else to do. Let's do it. Let's go do some stone or do some iron mining. Start out with that. Get three chunks there. We get three chunks here. We 
We need to send the stone. What's going on here? Okay, this needs to stay. This little belt. That is getting charcoal into our copper production. How are we doing on that for supply? 65. Let's toggle this guy. Again, if we hit those splitters, we wouldn't have to bother with this. But we'll fill this barrel back up. Charcoal, I'm sure we're doing fine while we're here. Tons. That's backed up. Let's toggle this one. Okay, this is going to need to run through a filter. Right? And the stone, we want to come out on the left side. Left side, let's get the waste stone out of here. Let's run the belt for that. That needs to come up into here if we can do it. Uh, what's the best way to do that? Maybe I'll actually take it. As ugly as that looks, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I'm wondering why this isn't letting me out. Oh, and, oh, you're producing a bunch of iron all the, off the bat. Okay, fine. Need a conveyor bridge here. We're routing the stone, the byproduct, what we're routing right now. That's going to be the stone. Should find its way all the way into our storage, or mega storage over there. Okay, now iron, we need to run this through. I guess we could think about powdering this iron. Do we need to, though? Do we need to waste space when we've got floors and floors of this stuff? Um, I don't know if that's truly necessary. Let's take a look and see if we can't figure out what the benefit's going to be. Or we need to use the larger blast furnace just to get out the, uh, wait a second, purifiers, iron priest molten steel, wait a minute, wait a minute, all right, let's see, or, oh, we can use the regular furnace, I didn't realize that, okay, ore dust, geez, I'm going to have to write this down, ore dust gets us, 0.4 liters of molten metal. Four liters. Molten. What does the... Ore gets us one, right? Ore gets us one liter. Per. And then how many ore to an ore dust, right? How many ore to an ore dust? So one ore is two gravel. And each gravel is three. So we get six ore dust. Six ore dust. Hmm, it is a lot better. But well, it's a lot more machines. We get six ore dust which would be um, 2.4 liters of molten ore compared to just a one liter of molten ore by not processing it down. Oh man, is it worth it? We'd have to think through like the throughput too. Oh man, I'm not sure if I want to bother with it. I'm sure we're supposed to. But maybe we'll do that on another floor. We'll go with more optimized. 
production. I kind of just want to make some or <laughs> I mean, I kind of just want to make some ingots. I don't want to bother with all that. So I'm going to go with the horrible recipe. Unoptimized. Uh, furnace. I think we've been doing one furnace. We don't need to stockpile anything. I think one furnace is enough, right? Or does it back up? Get a bunch of ore here being mined. And the furnace is keeping up. I don't think it's an issue. So let's go with one furnace. Maybe I'll move it over. Oh, I got to get charcoal in here, though. Uh, how best to do that? Not sure I want to rely on one little thing. Um, not sure I want to rely on just one of these charcoal burners. It'd be nice to tap into this line up here. Or, oh man, look at the spaghetti. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good. I'm going to get charcoal under here if we do it down this way. We are, we are really loaded up. Don't have a good way to get belts down here, do I? It might be stuck. I might have to bridge this first one over. Or... Yeah, I can't get there from the second one even. I can't get... Uh, I could conveyor... Bridge both of these. Let's try it. Try it. Why not? Conveyor bridge there. I think... There and there. That do that. Okay, we're looking to redirect... Charcoal, is that going to work? It is now. How can we... My concern right now as I'm looking at this is this charcoal burner I think now is always going to send underneath the belt that we want to toggle to. So in order to make this work, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm going to have to delete this all the time. Delete this and then replace it with a belt. Not the end of the world if I do have to do that. We'll see. We'll just play it by ear. This one definitely needs to be reversed. That one's fine. This one is going to go straight through. I'm only going to get resource from here, which is kind of odd. Right? Because I can just take it from down here if I want it from a single burner. The whole idea of putting a conveyor splitter here was so I could get two charcoal burners. Let's clear this out. I don't like... I don't like where this is going. I don't like it. Um, yeah, maybe I don't like it. Let's, uh, let's pull this out. This one's meant to go down. This one's meant to go up. And this one's meant to go up. <clears throat> what we'll do instead, we'll branch off of this guy straight on out. So one trans conveyor bridge here. We'll use a single um, charcoal mound for just the iron ore smelting. So that's what we'll do. And then we'll tap into, we'll try and tap into the rest of this when we get over to smelting into steel. Right? Oh, in fact, we could even just route those iron ingots straight over here. It looks like this furnace is more than keeping up with the supply of all our other iron ingots. So we might be able to just, yeah, send ingots over, iron ingots, and not have to worry too much about uh, routing coal. It. Let's get a uh, furnace. We gotta feed this into a caster or an ingot mold as well. Now let's do it there. I know it's right in the middle, but that is fine. We'll fix this. 
and we'll bring over the charcoal way up like that toggle this guy for a bit uh barrels where's our barrels we gotta have barrels fact let's do two Boom. Boom. We may leave this guy allocated to this production chain. We'll see. You can let out, and you can let out. And then I think we need four molds, right? Typically, we've been doing four molds. Get those going. And then we'll just send the ingots all the way over. Yeah, we've got just enough room to pull this off. Wow. A molten channel. Here, like so. Belt for ingots. Out this way, and we said we wanted to tap. Well, we gotta go way far out, huh? Uh, where should we run this belt? Yes, we'll go in the middle till we decide that we need to move it. I'm gonna hop over this one and just hook up here and leverage that same blast furnace. So you to there. And you kind of over to here. Uh, boy, that's just so hideous looking. We just come straight across. And up. Let's get a conveyor bridge here. Move that. Whoops, I didn't click it. Reverse it. With it. I need to reverse it here. And send those ingots onto this belt. Boom, boom, boom. Well, there we did it. We scaled up our steel ingot production at least a little bit. I don't think there's a way to do barrels here that makes sense, I guess. We could put a barrel here. Uh, no, we can't because there's two different products coming through. I was going to say we could put a barrel here just to make sure this mine's always running. We'll see. Maybe this guy will catch up. Should. I would think the Springer should run pretty fast. But it may catch up to these mines. And then for all the excess stone, I'm not sure what's going to happen. You know, worst case, we could just delete this whole th warehouse out. Cool. Not bad. We're trying to drill down. Right now, the drilling is backed up. We're trying to uh, shore up our supply of steel plates. So we're not sending ingots into the, um, into the drill at the moment. I guess that gives us a chance to stockpile the concrete if it's actually doing it. Nope, we need to we need to route sand down again, unfortunately. Boom. Fill this up so we can get the powder, rock powder, whatever it is. Stone dust. Not bad. Yeah, let's leave it here. We'll take a quick look at the lower level. Next episode we'll need to move our air purifiers expand these two layers minus one and minus two expand those areas of the map and then give some thought to what we want to do hopefully we'll find tin like real soon because man once we have those distributors we can actually uh we can actually map something out that doesn't look so embarrassing where we have to keep doing these manual toggles but in the near term these guys are kind of helping us it is working. I can see we need to clean up the dirt, right? This guy's full. We got 94. This guy's got 135. Let's send some dirt over this way. Keep that moving. This guy's got 184. You can actually toggle this guy over too. I'm just gonna fill up two at once. These guys are doing their thing. 
Okay, we've now filled up all of the charcoal for our copper production for a while. So I'm going to send... Where is it? This guy back straight to feed the steel production. Like I said, it's a little crazy. But it is working. <laughs> but it is working. Our supplies are... Our supplies are actually pretty good if we look here at the top right. Anyway, enough of my babbling for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Super special thanks to patrons and channel members. Your contributions are greatly, greatly appreciated. I don't take it for granted. And uh, everybody else, I will see you all in the next episode.